Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will talk about the concept of user identity and user password in your backendless application. In here, in my app, you see a collection of users in my users table. And the email column has this light blue background. And uh, every single app in Backendless will have uh, such column in the users table. So what is identity column? And th this light blue background in this email column designates and visualizes this column as the identity column. So what is identity uh, in the user's table? It is a column that must contain unique values uh, and the values in this column uniquely identify your users. You cannot create two user records that have the same value in the identity column. The importance of this identity column is that the value that you have in there would be used by the user when they log in in your application. So it can be username, it can be email, it can be phone number, whatever it is in your application, it must be unique uh, at the user level. You can uh, pick any column that has unique values uh, and designate it as identity. To do this, if you switch to schema uh, here in the table editor, you will see a list of all your columns and you will see that there is a column here called identity that has these radio buttons. And uh, for the columns that can be identity, uh, you get these radio buttons where you can choose which column will be identity. And in this case, uh, the qualified columns in my application are either email or name. Everything else, it's not assignable because uh, it would not make sense. So for instance, location, which is basically a geographic location where that user is, cannot be used as identity or relationship columns cannot be used as identity. So in here, uh, it is recommended uh, that you select what the identity is at the development stage when you're developing your application because switching it later will could actually break your application. It doesn't make sense where if, uh, if an application where you have actual users and it's working and people log in with email address and you suddenly want to change it to name, it will not uh, work very well because you, you have to instruct the users and so on. So it doesn't really make sense. So this is sort of a development time kind of configuration where you decide what the identity will be. In my case, since this was just a demo app, I can actually switch to name and you do this and then you get the confirmation that now name is going to be identity. If we switch to data browser, you see now name has this uh, blue background. So in this case, uh, if I were to start programming the login functionality for my app, users will have to use these values to identify themselves. And by the way, name is is not a good idea because you you more than likely there may will there will be users that have the same names. And in my case, uh, the users that I have are superheroes, so that's why it works uh, well for this particular case. But the point here is that understanding what identity is is very important because it is directly related to the login functionality, which will be reviewed later in this course. So that's identity. Now uh, let's talk about password. So in the users table, there will be a column called password uh, that is always a masked value. Whenever you put a value for the password or whenever user assigns their own password, it is hashed and salted and stored in an encrypted form in backendless. And it is impossible to get the original raw value of the password. So in backendless, you will never be able to retrieve the actual value of the password. Um, and it works well for the reason that it's uh, very, very secure. And whenever users log in, they provide identity and they provide password. And uh, Backendless basically uh, matches the password that is in the encrypted form with the password that we get from the user by essentially running it through the same algorithm and just seeing if they match. Uh, it is possible that you will have users who log in through social networks or with phone numbers. In this case, the password simply will not be there. Uh, some password will be generated, but it's not going to be used. But uh, uh, here, if you want to modify the password for the user as an administrator, it's very easy to do. You just uh, 
select the cell, type in uh, whatever the password is, and uh, the password will be updated. It is also possible to update the password for the user the, the, by the user themselves. We provide functionality for this, and that is going to be also reviewed in one of the videos in this course. However, uh, as far as identity and the password, that's all I wanted to share with you in this video. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy backhandless coding.